2,000 years after the departure of Jesus the Christ. The prophets are back to teach the real Jews, the 12 tribes of Israel, their true nationality. This is their campaign. What we about to do right now, we about to show you what the actual truth is according to the scriptures. That's right. You ready? Yeah. Alright, read this. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 142. Read it out. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. Uh-huh. And thy law is the truth. And thy what? And thy law is the truth. Yeah. The, the scripture says God's laws is the truth. Yeah. That's right. You understand that, sis? Yes, now go back to Romans. So now we getting a little idea of what yeah. Romans chapter 1 is talking about, all right? Yeah. There's the book of Romans, chapter 1, verse 25. Read it out. Who changed the truth of God into a lie uh -huh. and worshiped and served the creature more than the creator? Right, and served the creature more than the creator. You know what that's talking about? Let me get the, uh, let me get this right here. This is what our people is worshiping right now today, so-called Christianity. Read on. Who serve, who, and worship the, and serve the creature more than the creator, who is blessed forever, amen. Right. For this cause, mm -hmm. God gave them up unto vile affection. The scripture says, for this cause, God gave them up to vile affection. Just because you want to worship this right here, the most I said what? For this cause, God gave them up unto file affection. The scripture said, read more for, time. for this cause, mm -hmm. God gave them up unto vile affection. Says, let me ask you, what is a vile affection? Vile is something that's bad, wicked. Uh huh. It's uh, detestable. Detestable, something uh, like what? What's, what's the de detestable according to God? Detestable is anything that's an abomination to him, like lying is abomination. Lying. Uh, unnatural uh, uh, relationship. Right. Unnatural relationships. What, what, what do you call that? What's homosexuality. Homosexuality. Uh, lesbianism. Lesbianism. CC. All praise of Mosai. Read that. Necro. 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 This is the book of Romans, chapter 1, verse 26. Uh -huh. For this cause, God gave them up unto vile affection. Uh -huh. For even their women did change the natural youth into that which is against nature. So you see? Lesbianism. Right. That's that's exactly what it's talking about. Right, it said women did what? They changed their natural use into that which is against the nature. That which is against nature because what? What is the natural uh, use for the women? Women, women are supposed to do what? Bearing children. Bearing children. That's right. With a husband, with a husband right? right. To, to, to take sperm and to... to, to uh, Right, the natural use for women is to what? Take yes. sperm and then to give birth after what? Yes. Nine months. Right. That's the natural use of women. Right. Women, uh, the, 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 the natural use of women was never uh, for, for, for one woman to have sex with another woman. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Male with a male. We read in Genesis, the Most High says uh, he commanded us to uh, be fruitful and multiply. Right. We're going to get that real quick. You understand? Because we don't understand. You can't, oh, uh, uh, women and women can't be fruitful and multiply. Men and men cannot be fruitful, fruitful and multiply. That's right. You understand, sis? That thing cannot, that thing can't work. Uh, get the this is the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 27. So God created man in his own image. Uh -huh. The image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. Right. And God blessed them. And God said unto them, be so from the beginning, the, the very first page in the Bible, the very
very first chapter, the most I said what? Men and women be fruitful and multiply. He never Beautiful. said man and man be Beautiful. fruitful and multiply. He didn't say woman and woman be fruitful and multiply. No, you can't. You can't. No. That, that thing is impossible. Right. Back to Romans. Uh, it's the book of Romans, chapter 1, verse 26. For this cause, God gave them up unto vile affection. For even their women did change the natural youth into that which is against nature. That's going into lesbianism. And So the same way the women did what they decided to go uh, go and do things that were against na go, go go and do things that were against nature. The men also did the same thing. Right, right. You know? And likewise, also the men. Likewise, leaving, the men. Uh -huh. leaving the natural use of the woman. Leaving the natural thing. Leaving the natural use of of the woman. So not only are men uh, today they want to um they want to leave the natural use of the woman. They don't want to have sex with women anymore. They want to have sex with a. They want to have sex with a man. You got something to say? Yeah. Not only do they want to have sex with a man. Sisters, y'all had a question? What? Well, sorry, sisters. Y'all ain't have a question? Y'all sure? Y'all got no questions? No. Hey, what's going on, man? Right. Not only do they want to have sex with men, uh -huh. they want to also uh, uh, be sexually immoral to their wives. Like, you know, have sexual, uh, 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 physical, uh, how should I say? with a woman that it shouldn't be that way. Even if you're a male or, or, or and I think that, I call that, uh, what is it? Um, what is that word? Not so, uh, sodomy, what is the other one? And, and I think they, I know what you're going into. Right, but they shouldn't have a sex like that. So now they figure if they can do that to their wife or female, mm -hmm. then, then they can do that to men likewise. And why are men, why are they looking more like females and why Sis, that, that's the reason why we have to we have to teach our children and we have also have to teach ourselves God's laws. You understand? But remember, you said, um, you know, uh, men are having uh, this immoral type of sex with their wives and stuff like that. Read uh, Hebrews chapter 13, verse 4. This is the book of Hebrews chapter 13, verse 4. Read out. Marriage is honorable in all. You read this? The scripture says marriage is honorable in all. decides to do with his wife, if they agree on it, that's, that's, that's their business. Oh, I see. You understand? Uh -huh. Keep reading, keep, read on. And the bed undefiled, uh -huh. but whoremongers, but whoremongers, and adulterers, and adulterers, God will judge! The most high said he's gonna judge uh -huh. whoremongers and adulterers. Yes. So as long as uh, a man and a, a woman is married and, you know, they doing whatever they, they please, yes. The Most High, he's is, is sanctioned. The oh, Most High okay. is, is that sanctioned. That's that, that's under fire. You understand? Oh, okay. So now we want to get to the problem. We want to get to what the law says about homosexuality. You understand, sis? Because these are the laws that we're supposed to teach our children. We, right. This is the Book of Leviticus, chapter 18, verse 22. Yeah. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. Right, so this is the law pertaining to who specifically the man. Read that again. Leviticus chapter 18, verse 22. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not lie with mankind right. as with womankind. Sis, you agree with that scripture with the orange shirt? You agree with that? That men should not lay with men? AKA homosexuality. Do you agree with this according to the Bible? No. Why not? You mind your business? What the Bible tells you to do. Where's the scripture? It's like, he who cannot say it from the first stone. For religious discourse, but right. that's like But sis, we gotta understand if our people in sin, our job is to what? Let's point out the sin and rebuke them and teach them better. Right. 
teach them we have to mold them into repentance. That we're, that's what we're out here doing. You that's right. That's simply fear it, No, it's not. Because if I see my brother walking down the street and he's in uh, to that homosexual lifestyle, my job is to do what? Teach him to do better. That's right. You understand that? Bring it up. Let me get that get that back in. Uh, let me get that uh, back in Genesis. How so? By teaching them the God, uh, laws of God. Go back to all of the Isaiah 15. I think that's where it's going. Let me get that, Isaiah 15. But the Bible's up for interpretation, so the best way to teach is to lead. This is the no, book of... That's true, too. All right, the best way to teach is to lead, right? None of us up here are homosexuals, sis. That's right. right! You understand that? So if it, 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 uh, you gotta understand, it'll be a problem if I was a homosexual telling another homosexual that he shouldn't be into uh, homosexuality, right. or he shouldn't be sleeping with another man. Right. This, this is a totally different program. You understand? That's right. Nobody, we're not being hypocrites up here. We 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 live this and we we actually keep these laws. You understand? That's right. Read Read up. Up. There's the book of Isaiah, chapter 58, verse one. Read up. This is the scripture that, that, that instructs us on how to teach the Bible. You understand? Read. Cry aloud. Cry aloud. Spare not. Spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. And we are to, we're commanded to lift up our voice like a trumpet. So if, you, if you're offended, we literally cannot help you. Because why? We're doing what the Bible told us to do. Read. And show my people their transgressions. And we're commanded to show our people their transgressions. Do you know what a transgression is? Huh? Wrongdoings. AKA. Also, no, all right, let me just. Uh, John, uh, First John, chapter 3, verse 4. Can you, well, it's cause the scripture said we're supposed to show our people their transgressions, correct? Now we want to find out what is a transgression according to the, to, according to the Bible. Read that. First John, chapter 3, verse 4. Read out. Whosoever committed sin. Stop. It says, whosoever, any one of us that commits sin, right? Transgresseth also the law. Transgresseth also the law. The word transgress means to break. You want right. to You want to stand? Read it again. Whosoever committed sin. Uh -huh. Transgresseth also the law. Whosoever committed sins breaks God's laws. So if you break God's laws, Sis, you listening? If you break God's laws, you're in sin. You understand that? Yeah, right. But sis, we can't go off of feelings. Whatever this Bible says, that's it. No, right. You understand? Right. No, we're yeah. teaching her. Yeah, we're teaching her. We, we yeah, teach her. Teach yes, her. right. So in order to teach her, Right. So in order to teach her, and she doesn't know, you gotta bring a light to her. So, understand this. Um, my, my sister right here. My sister right here, because I was listening on the side, so I heard you say something. What's your name, by the way? Angelina. Angelina Offney. All right, so now, when it comes, let's stay on one topic first, and then you ask about the Bible, but we, can, we just dealt, dealt with that, so I, I can get that in a minute, but now when we talk about what we call what the bible calls sodomy right what is the now what is your issue with it i would say what well, what are your views on it I, I mean, you, I, or you said you let, let people do what they want to do. I right the view is that i don't have an issue with it i think there are much larger things that are outwardly actually hurting. so you don't see it you don't see it as a moral issue no. no. Okay. So now I'm gonna go through the I'm gonna go through the Bible, and we believe our faith is on the Bible, through right. Jesus Christ. That's what our faith is. Right. First and foremost. So in order for us to have faith in Jesus Christ, where do we learn about Him from? From the Bible. From the Bible. So we have to now go off of what's read, and then as we read earlier before you came about the Bible in Isaiah says, uh, search the Scriptures and see which one of these prophecies have not come to pass. So when we go through the Old Testament, we're seeing, okay, the Bible prophesied slavery; it happened. The Bible prophesied all these things; they came to pass long before it was even written i mean I'm, I'm sorry long after these things were written then there's a prophecy in there right so now let's go and read um one of these prophecies give me romans one yes sir there's the book of romans chapter 1 verse 25 so this is what he was reading right before you came up read. mind you this is the new testament so this is paul speaking and paul learned directly from who about jesus christ jesus christ that's right and this is the gospel of jesus christ right right this is the book of Romans, chapter 1, verse 25. Yeah. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? So that's what he's asking. He says, who changed the truth of God into a lie, right? That's what Paul is asking, read. And worship and serve the creature more than the creator, who is blessed forever, amen. Uh -huh. For this cause, God gave them up unto vile affections. 
So he's saying because of idolatry is what he's going through. Idolatry, he said God gave them up. Gave them up to what? Vile affection. Vile affection. What else? For even their women. Even the women did what? Did change the natural use uh -huh. into that which is against nature. The women changed their natural usage is what? To become a wife, to have children. Right. Lord willing to bear children. Right? That's the natural use of the woman. That's, right. That's why when you read in the scriptures, when you read about women that were, uh, for instance, women were, that were barren, that couldn't have any children, they, they went and they prayed to God that it would, that because they say it was uh, not so much a curse, but it was, it was uh, what's the word? a reproach. A reproach. Right. They said, listen, I want to be, be part of being a wife. For instance, is this your husband? No, I'm, no. A, I'm a good, I'm a widow. Widow, okay. That's my significant other, yeah. All right. So now, like, w w like, Check. just say, now, you're you're an age one, right? So now, uh, your time, when a woman is getting married, what's the one thing that she wants to do, be able to do for her husband? Oh, my God, for sure, to have a child. To bear children. Right. Right, that's uh, natural use. That's why, think about it, when when little girls are young, when, when little girls are young, what's a, what's one of the top toys? They want to get married. What, they want to get married. What's one of the top toys that you get for a little girl? Oh, you're definitely going to get the baby. Uh, a doll baby and all that. Right. Because right. they're learning to be mothers. And that's right. right. That's one of the most feminine things that you can do is right. to become a mother. That's right. right. God right. says now, in, our, in this time, the women are going against their natural use. Right. Read it again. Keep reading. Verse 26. Romans chapter 1, verse 26. Uh -huh. For this cause, God gave them up unto vile affection. So God said it's, it's a vile. This is what, now, this is not my opinion. This is what the word of God said. It's a vile affection. Meaning, vile means disgusting, distasteful. A vile of affection. Because what is what is it really? Think, now it's talking about the woman, right? Think about lesbianism. It's lust. Because it's unprofitable. Right! Now, two women, two women, what is the end result of two women uh, lying together? Straight people don't lust after each huh? other? Straight people? Don't lust after each other? Absolutely. But what is the end result of straight people lusting? If they, if a man and woman yeah. come together, what is it, my brother, what is the end result of that? Of course, a child. A child. Right! right. A child. A right. union. Right. A union. Right. 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 This is a book of Romans. Romans chapter 1, verse 26. Uh -huh. For this cause, God gave them up unto vile affection. For even that woman did change the natural youth into that which is against nature. Keep, keep listening. Keep and likewise also the men. In the same way, says the man did what? Leaving the natural use of the woman. Left that natural use of the woman, meaning right. for his job to become a husband, right? To bear children with his wife, to guide his household. He yes. said he left that to do what? In their lust. But listen, listen, because this is what, what you said. I, I yeah. want you guys to listen to the scripture. Yeah, I'll get your question right after this. Listen. Discourse. listen. And, yeah, yeah, I'm going to, after this, because I don't want you to cut me off because I don't want to have to come back to it. Listen. And likewise, all oh, but, but just listen, listen, because I don't want to have to read this again. Right. He's gonna miss the, the book of Romans, chapter 1, verse 27. Right. And likewise, also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, uh -huh. burned in their lust, one towards another. So when we said about Lust. You said about can't, doesn't a man, uh, uh, man not lust after a woman? Absolutely, a woman lusts after a man. But it said burned in their lust one toward another. Why are they burned? Because as the Bible calls it, it's inordinate affection. That's it's right. No different than a man lusting after uh, his his pit bull. And that's a sin. It's inordinate that's affection. Important. Right. Am I, gonna, am I gonna say now just because I don't lust after a pit bull that that man doesn't have a, a sexual desire for his pit bull? Yes, you do. But is it right? No, it's inordinate affection. Bring it out. Something. Understand this about homosexuality, and we've, I, I, we've dealt with this a long time. I, Where it stems from, and I'm going to get your question after this point, it stems from, and somebody tell me if I'm wrong, it usually stems from, majority of the time, childhood trauma and victimization. Why? Especially in the black community, that's why you see it running rampant, because the black woman is one of the most unprotected women on this earth. Uh, more than 60% of black women, black and Hispanic women, are molested before they reach the that's age true. of 18. Right, right, They're right. even molested or taken advantage of. And because they learn to distrust the man, a lot of them grow up in what? In lesbianism. That's Just like right. the black man. Majority of these black men coming up, they're raised by who? Their Women. mother, Women. their grandmother. Right. So what do they learn? To be feminine. That's right. why you see homosexuality in the men running rampant in our community. That's it's right. not natural. It stems from so trauma, from victimization. That's, so That's where it comes from. It's, I'm not making it up. It's even a scientific study. That's why it used to be characterized under a mental disorder. That's right. Now, what's your question? Okay, so my question, I, I'm not anti-religious. My question is about institutions. Uh -huh. So the Bible, there's many things in the Bible. Right. Your, your, your 
body is a temple. You're not supposed to get piercings. Yeah. You're not supposed right. to get tattoos. People you can get do this piercings, a, but not tattoos. People do this stuff on a daily basis. They're still welcome to the kingdom of God. They don't get thrashed. But who told you that? Thrashings. How do you how do you know that they're welcome to the kingdom? I'm a person of religion. I know this, but my question is, what is with? But have you I, been I, to the religion? Have you been to the kingdom of God? Question. My question, question is with institutions, uh -huh. with institutions, whether you be Catholic, Christian, whatever. whatever. There are so many things and different interpretations of the Bible. What is the fixation? Homosexuality, like, what is the fixation? What is the fixation? Other things. Like, that's just my own life. Like, like, okay. okay. When there are other things, okay. like so many. abortion, right. murder, yeah. things that are Absolutely. out there harming people, right. and somebody's sexuality, who they lay with, but the Bible Child abuse. Right. 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 So, so to answer your question, and it was a good question, okay. and uh, it's a couple points I'll go back to, but you said, what is the, uh, what is the obsession, you said, right? Yes. Well, no, or fixation, you said. Fixation, yeah. fixation. So, with that, I'm going to, the answer to your question is, uh, give me Isaiah 58 and 1 again, and I want to see if you catch the point in that. Because I think you read it before, but I want you to catch the point in it. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter, read it, read it clearly. Chapter 58, verse 1. There you go. Cry aloud. So God commanded us to cry aloud, right? Speak loudly, that's why we come out, we've got a microphone, right? Read. Spare not. You're not to spare anybody's feelings. If God said it's wrong, then I'm letting you know it's wrong. I don't care how you feel because the things that I know myself that I want to do that God says wrong, I have to check myself and not amen, do it. Amen. Read. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Loud. Yeah. And show my people. So God yeah. says show his people what? Their transgression. Again, you know the transgression is just a sin. Yeah. So he says show them where they're going oh, wrong. Right. Read That's and what? Right. And the house of Jacob, their sin. And show them their sin. So I'm, why you said words of fixation, right? Yes. Now, if it's a sin, it's a sin. For instance, my sister's coming up, and that's my sister. I love her. But smoking is against the laws of God. That is right. If the sister came up now, and I'm going to teach her, when I get now when we build with her, I'm going to go over the things that's, uh, that's plaguing her so that she can repent. Because our, our ministry is repentant. So what we're going to teach is what's really going on. This is what we see. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are how we're men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.